husband's high-profile personal troubles, will people still go see the film? Kevin Steincross talked to his co-star and director Jodie Foster in this edition of The Real World. Is Dad gone? He's not gone, honey. We just agreed that it's better if we don't live together anymore. I'm glad you kicked him out. What a loser. You might say art is imitating life. In the movie The Beaver, Mel Gibson plays a very troubled man. He is severely depressed, suicidal. He discovers a way to cope by speaking only through a beaver puppet. Bloody hell. Look at you. I'm sick. Do you want to get better? Who are you? No, I'm the beaver, Walter. And I'm here to save your damn life. This is Gibson's first starring role since he was accused of hitting his girlfriend in a fight last year. Many also remember his alcohol-fueled anti-Semitic tirade in 2006. Jodie Foster, wearing glasses because of an eye infection, is the film's director and co-star. Why was it important for you to stick with him in this process despite all of his personal trouble? Well, the man I know is an extraordinary friend, an incredibly gifted, uh, incredible professional. I, honestly, I think he is the most beloved person I've ever worked with. And you'd be hard pressed to find anybody who's ever worked with him that doesn't love him. You know, in terms of his struggles, you know, we all struggle and his struggles are actually, I hate to say it, not very uncommon. They just happen to be blared all over the internet. Foster was aware of her friend's personal problems during the shoot. In fact, some of the allegations surfaced while they were filming. When you love somebody, you, you throw your arms around them when something bad happens. You don't just run away. The person who handed you this card is under the care of a prescription puppet. But will moviegoers run to the box office to see a star with a tarnished reputation? That is a big question. The Anti-Defamation League is a civil rights organization whose mission is to fight anti-Semitism. The ADL declined an interview, but said in this statement, quote, We don't have a problem with the film, and people can make up their own minds whether they want to see it, unquote. There will be people who won't want to go see this movie because he's in it. You know, you can throw stones at whatever you want, but this performance is extraordinary. And, um, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think that... I don't think that any bit of judgment about uh, Mel's personal life can ever take that away. This man is a dead end. He's gone. I fought for you, and I will continue to fight for you because I love you. The Beaver is in limited release right now, and reviews of the movie and Gibson's performance range from good to outstanding. I saw it a couple of months ago, and I found it to be an extraordinary, very moving look at depression and how this man and his family deal with it. The Beaver opens in St. Louis theaters this Friday. In the real world, I'm Kevin Stein.